It is the 14th of the 11th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. I'm going to start you off on the extinction protocol tonight. Uh, awakened sun's conclusive behavior dismays scientists across the globe. And uh, apparently, where is it, where is it? Solar forums all over the world are buzzing with solar astronomers proclaiming this to be the biggest prominence that many have ever witnessed. And apparently this thing's over a million kilometers long. That's three times the distance between the Earth and the Moon. And uh, if this thing lets go, um, it could fall back down on the Sun's surface and create a huge CME. Um, but there's, you know, really no telling where, or when, or how. So uh, it's definitely something to keep an eye on the sun right now. It's just amazing photographs and uh, videos going on right now with this filament. It's huge. Uh, the number of earthquakes at Santorini continues as slightly elevated levels. Now this is out of Greece, one of the islands of Greece. It's a volcano. Uh, last erupted in 1950. Um, and uh, also... From Wikipedia, the devastating volcanic eruption at Santor Santorini at uh, Thera has become the most famous single event in the Aegean before the fall of Troy. It may, one, it may have been one of the largest volcanic eruptions on Earth in the last few thousand years, with an estimated 7 on the VEI, the Volcanic Explosive Index. So that's a pretty big major volcano gearing up. Uh, we also have a massive crop failure in Afghanistan leaves millions at risk from severe drought. Out of Kabul, officials in the Ministry of Rural Rehabilitation and Development express concerns over drought effects, which threatens more than 7 million Afghans across the country. And, uh, yeah, they're still fighting over natural resources and uh, more suffering in Afghanistan. They have videos enclosed, of course. Uh, nothing really on SOT.net. I'm um, going over to the RSOE. Uh, El Hero. Um, definitely still a lot of um, volcanic activity going on. They're saying the, the volcano is about to surface. And I believe Christina Garrett put out a video. Uh, they're saying they named this new island already, but I'm not really sure what it is. Uh, yeah, and just ongoing situation, especially with, you know, with what we discovered that there was an, a nuclear dump site off the coast where they were just dumping these barrels of nuclear waste uh, into the sediment off the coast of El Hero and uh, the risk that that entails with landslides and whatnot. Uh, heat wave in the United Kingdom. It is unseasonably pleasant. Get out and enjoy it. Uh, extreme weather in California, San Diego. They said they had a major storm come through, but uh, they didn't catch the front of it. Uh, they just got bands rolling through, but they ended up getting a month's worth of rain in one day. Uh, Snowstorms in Turkey. Of course, this is uh, the earthquake devastated area. A lot of these people are afraid to be inside their houses because they're cracked and there's still aftershocks going on. Um, so a lot of people out on the street and it's snowing hard. Uh, and that is about it climate change wise once again another slow day which is good news um, on to the nuclear stuff uh, now I stumbled across a story off of geologynews.com um, they, they had a story on uh, how the Virginia is recovering after the 5.8 earthquake not too long ago and uh, they mentioned Dominion plans Virginia reactors at full power in 10 days. Uh, this is off of Bloomberg. Dominion Resources Incorporated reactors at its North Anna plant, rattled by an August earthquake, may resume full operation within 10 days after the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission deemed its units safe. A North Anna's two, rea two reactors were shut on August 23rd by the Virginia Trembler that exceeded the plant's design limits. Uh, the company plans for both reactors to return to 100% operation. Dominion said it in today in a statement and uh, they're saying it's safe. 
and the story goes on, but what they're not telling you is they're breaking ground for a brand new reactor uh, right there next door on top of this new or top of this uh, fault line. So uh, the insanity continues, which is the nuclear industry. Over to ENE News. Uh, today they've got a lot of some serious stuff going on. Local Tokyo officials, it became clear that radiation came further south than we thought, all the way to Tokyo while nursery schools with kids rolling in sandbox and tasting it. Uh, they have an audio report on that. Another story, reactors number five and six were not, I repeat, not in cold shutdown after quake, implies reports from U.S. nuclear industry. Cooling at spent fuel pool number five stopped until cables installed fresh fuel had been loaded into both reactors. Do new revelations prove Fukushima reactors number 5 and number 6 had meltdowns, or even worse? we got another story. News flash. Massive nuclear demonstrations in Japan. Citizens are standing up for their lives more than ever before. And I can't say I blame them one bit. And uh, on to the European stuff. Poland tries to blame Pakistan for iodine-131 over Europe. Pakistan says no. Release of iodine-131 is not possible unless there is nuclear fuel failure. NASA, odds of plutonium release over Florida is 1 in 420 for upcoming Mars rover launch. Explosions in the first 8 seconds pose the greatest risk. Plutonium. Report, fireman dies after working in Fukushima after quake, vomited blood frequently and finally died of renal failure. And they have a video attached with that. And that is about all I knew, have new for you today. Uh, again, I apologize for the satellite video. Um, I'm not a rocket scientist, so I was watching it come up, and I was like, hey, why is he gaining altitude? But apparently, um, its orbit is. So, um, again, please let me know what's going on with that. I'm not 100% sure. And uh, finally tonight, Mr. Too Tough. It's going to be in the mail tomorrow. And I want a video of you opening. Enjoy what I can, everybody. Thanks.